My interest for the outdoors really was sparked from my dad and my grandfather. Every chance I could get, they had me in the woods, especially my grandfather. He was checking me out of school during the week because I had buck fever. Or every chance on the weekends, we were either hunting or fishing somewhere. And Being a big turkey hunter, there's typically one bucket list thing that you go after, and that's the Grand Slam. And This is harvesting all four subspecies of turkeys around the U.S. And My grandfather had one bird left when I was in middle school, and I desperately wanted to go on this trip with him. And He told me, no, once, once I got to college, we would start mine. And Senior year of high school he got sick and then my freshman year of college he passed away and that was really the toughest thing I'd been through. That was my best friend, that was my hunting buddy. So my dad was like, why don't you and I start your Grand Slam in memory of him? And I was like, I'd love to do that, that'd be awesome. I was looking at outfitters around the country and it's like this is going to be a five to ten thousand dollar expense, like it just doesn't make sense for us to try to do that and I didn't want him to have to pay for that. So I was like, but why not swap a trip? I made a post on a social app and found a guy in Colorado and him and his son ended up coming to our farm hog hunting and then my dad and I went to Colorado to start my Grand Slam. This was the first swap of trips for trade and then I realized in college that I'd swapped football tickets for offshore fishing in Gulf Shores or I swapped turkey hunting in Alabama for surfing in San Diego and realized this could be a lot bigger than just a hunting and fishing platform. And that's why we built Trips for Trade, just so not only I could finish my Grand Slam, which I later did through the site, but also we could share that with other users you know, around the world that have other bucket list items that they want to complete. Now we've got a platform that they can use to achieve those goals. Working at the Edge facility has been incredible. It's really neat to be around other entrepreneurs that are passionate about getting their business off the ground. And then also they're putting in the hours trying to get it started. So all of these resources pulled together with just incredibly helpful staff and faculty has just been a launch pad for us getting this business off the ground. My first advice for somebody that's looking to get into entrepreneurship or know that they want to have their own business would really just be find your passion and then find a problem in the industry that you're passionate about. For me, you know, I built Trips for Trade because this is something that I wanted to use and something that would help me achieve a goal that was on my bucket list. And so I think, you know, find something that you're passionate about that's going to help you get over the obstacles that come with entrepreneurship is very important. You know, we're enjoying the journey and it's a roller coaster and it's a battle, but it's also very fun and just very appreciative of that opportunity.